Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Now I will understand uh, analogy of double displacement chemical reactions. So till now we have done three. This is the fourth kind of chemical reaction, double displacement reaction. So here there are two pairs A, B and C, D and they swap the pairs. So so this becomes AC and this becomes B. So we'll see how it is. So for example, this is one guy and one girl, and this is one guy and one girl. If you see, this is A is a girl in red, B is a guy in blue, C is a girl in blue, and D is a guy in red. And they want to play, create a dance pair. They say that I am one dance pair one, and I am pair two. They are two dance pair, right? So they are two elements actually. They are two elements they are together this is one dance pair and this guy is one dance pair now again the instructor came and told that no man it doesn't look good red should pair with red and blue should pair with blue so now they are like this now if you see this guy was a and this the red guy was d right the blue guy was b and the blue lady sorry this is c and blue lady was c so if you see now from AB plus CD, it becomes AD and BC. You see, right? They, they swapped actually, right? They swapped. So it was AB and was CD. They swapped. It can be any swap. This is swapped. And these kind of reactions are called double displacement chemical reaction. So here I wrote AC and BD. I could have also written AD plus BC. Doesn't matter because anyway, we are going for a swap, right? So in this case, it is AD and BC. It swapped. It swapped. The other condition called instructor. This is something that happens in real life, right? So we so we, we form pair and then our dance teacher says, oh, don't no, this pair doesn't look good, let's swap and we swap our partner. So that, that's one example of a double displacement chemical reaction where both are swapped, not only one. So let's understand the double displacement reaction from a chemistry perspective. The formula still holds same AB plus C D is equal to A C plus B D, or it can be other way around. It can be A B plus we see that this guy pairs and this guy pairs, right? So any of this is fine. So here it, the exchange of ion happens. An example is precipitation AC base reaction. So let's explain what are these reactions later. So some examples are if you have this uh, HCl hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, you add this becomes sodium chloride, NaCl and uh, water. So if you see this, this guy H forms pair with OH, right? HOH and Cal and Na forms a pair, NaC. So the, the one in square forms a pair and the one circle forms a pair. Here also if you see, my Ag and Cl, both are in circle, they form a pair, AgCl. And the one in square, that forms a pair, NaNO3, if you see, they form a pair, NaNO3. And this is a circle, right? Similarly, we have this BOH2 and the CUCNS. This becomes, uh, you see, BA and CNS forms a pair, and CU and OH forms a pair, right? So, this guy and OH2 forms a pair. So, you get this kind of equations. Here, FES and SGL. So, if you see there in this case, FE and CL forms a pair, and H and S forms a pair. Yeah, so that's what you get. So this is the example where you have double displacement things happen, right? So hope you understand the concept of double displacement that both the things are displaced. We'll take some activity for this. We'll take three ml of sodium sulfate solution test tube, and another test tube will take three ml of barium chloride solution. We'll mix both. So we have, in this case, we have uh, sodium sulfate, and in this case, we have. In this case, Na2SO4 and barium chloride we have in this. So we'll mix both and we'll observe that this guy gets a precipitation of sodium chloride. You see this white color thing, right? That guy is nothing but NaCl. So you get a precipitation of NaCl sodium chloride, and this blue color, what you get is nothing but BaSO4 solution. So when you mix this, you got some precipitation and you got this solution also. And this is the reaction that happens. Na2SO4 plus BaCl2 gets BaSO4 plus NaCl. In this case, if you see, sodium and chlorine, they form a pair. 
correct they got lcn and the sulfate and barium form a pair got barium sulfate and that's what happened so this is one of the activity to to observe this double displacement chemical reaction now we'll discuss the last type of reaction called combustion reaction so anything you burn actually there's nothing but combustion reaction so you have your diesel you burn your diesel you have some food you burn it you have wood you burn it those kind of reaction when you burn something that is nothing but a combustion reaction actually so so if you see the thing that happened is you burn something you you have some eggs you burn that you get some carbon dioxide in water this is a typical example of a combustion reaction burn anything you get stuff that is combustion reaction thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again